candidate who's running for the State House District 24 seat says everything is not what it seems in this special election. TV 20's Elias Solache tells us why he says he was tricked into running as a write-in. I figured out that I got tricked. Robert Fox is a Marion County businessman who closed the Florida House District 24 primary race after becoming a write-in candidate. Fox is one of six Republican candidates who wants to replace Joe Harding. However, Fox says this was a trick by political consultant Brett Doster. You would have never thought he was anything except somebody for the Republican Party or the Democrat Party or the Independent Party trying to further you know, the Republicans or the Democrats or the independents. Fox says Doster led him to believe if he became a write-in candidate, he would be helping the Republican Party. So Fox went along. People were talking to me and calling me and saying, what are you doing? Why would you close the primary to not let anybody else vote except Republicans? And I, I said, because that's what I was supposed to do. Fox says he found out about Doster's involvement with Chamberlain after the first campaign financial reports released. He says it shows donation from Doster to Chamberlain's campaign. I didn't know that Brett Doster was Ryan Chamberlain's manager. So he was doing it for personal reasons to better his candidacy for Ryan Chamberlain then to be, hey, this is great for the Republican Party. Records show Doster contributed $1,000 to Chamberlain's campaign. I spoke with members of Marion County's Republican Executive Committee who say they support write-in candidates closing primary races because it benefits their party. The people of Marion County need to understand how tricky it is if you want to run for a public office and how dirty it can be. Fox says he will not be campaigning until the general election to not cause confusion. I reached out to Brett Doster and Brian Chamberlain for a statement and did not hear back. In Ocala's Lali Solache, TV 20 News.